In tonight's Aloha Authentic, the story of a queen who some believed was unfit to rule, but whose legacy lives on till this day. Here's Kamakapili. We all make use of our island roadways, but when was the last time you paid attention to their given names? Did you know you can learn more about Hawaii's history if you did? Well, our weekly Aloha Authentic segment, we highlight various streets across the islands so we can dig into those names and in turn, learn something new. This week, we bring attention to one of Hawaii's queens. In the Ahupua'a of Honolulu, which lies in the moku of Kona here on Oahu, stands a street named after the consort to King Kamehameha IV. We're talking about Queen Emma Street. Emma Kaleleo Nalani Na Ea Rook was born as a royal member of the Kamehameha dynasty as her great-grand-uncle was King Kamehameha I. As a youth, she was deemed eligible for the throne of the Hawaiian Kingdom and groomed to be a leader. She eventually married Alexander Liholiho, who became King Kamehameha IV, but during their engagement, turmoil arose as some deemed her unfit to be queen as she was mixed-blooded with her grandfather being British. While married, she and the king had spent their time and efforts to create legacies in which we still benefit from today. History shares that Queen Emma and the King had gone door to door to raise money to create what is now the Queen's Medical Center. The Queen is also noted to have helped to establish the Anglican Church in Hawaii, St. Andrew's Priory School for Girls, and setting the groundwork for what was St. Albans College, now known as Iolani School. During the summer heat, the Queen and her King would stay in Nu'uwanu at their summer palace named Hanaya Kamalama. To learn more about Queen Emma's Summer Palace, which still remains and is one of the only royal palaces in Hawaii and all of the U.S., visit khon2.com to watch the latest episode of Aloha Authentic. Did you know? Now you do.